So in this recording, we're going to be doing multiplication and division of algebraic expressions. So a very important principle that we're going to be following when we're doing multiplication and division of algebraic expressions is our laws of exponents. The most common ones we're going to have is the first and second law. So we know the first law is if we are given two bases that are the same and we are times them together, we will add the exponents. So we know that this will be a 2 plus 3, which will give us a to the power of 5. And the second law of exponent, which if we are given a to the power of 8 over a to the power of 4, the bases are the same in this case, so we'll have a. In this case, we will minus the exponents. The exponent on the top, you'll minus 4 or the bottom exponent from that. So our answer will be a to the power of 4. So those are the two main laws of exponents we're going to be dealing with when looking at multiplication and division of algebraic expressions. So if we can look at an example now. We given negative four a squared b cubed times three a b squared. Cool. So the the way I like to break this up is firstly what we're going to do is we're going to look at the the coefficients in front. So look at negative four times three. Okay. So we know negative four times three. It's a negative times a positive. So we're going to get a negative, so we get negative 12, right? Now we're going to times the a's, so the base is the same, so we add exponents. We've got two of here, and remember there's an invisible one above this a, so it's going to be a, so it's 2 plus 1, we get 3, so it's a, 3. And if we look at b, we're going 3 plus 2, which is 5. So our final answer there is going to be negative 12a to the power of 3, b to the power of 5. Another example here, if you look at it, it says 4y squared, open brackets, we're timesing 2xy minus y squared. So it's basically going to be the same thing. Only thing is now we're timesing this into the first term and then timesing it into the second term over there. So if we're doing that, going 4y squared times 2xy first. So if you look at that, we're doing the timesing the numbers first. So 4 times 2, we get 8. So now we're going to look here, we have an x over here, but we don't have an x over here. So basically the x is going to stay the same. It's going to remain there as just x. Then we do have y's here, so the bases are the same here. So we're adding exponents. Don't forget, there's an the invisible 1 above there. So it'll be 2 plus 1, which gives me 3. Now we're going to look at the second term in the brackets over here. We have a negative y squared. So basically what that's going to tell us now is, remember, in front of this y, there's invisible 1. So if we times in the numbers first, we're getting 4 times negative 1. So what we're going to get is negative 4. And then we're going to look at y. So times in the y, bases are the same. Adding the exponents. And we get y to the power of 4. So our final answer here is... 8x y to the power of 3 minus 4 y to the power of 4. Looking at another example here, now we're going to look at division of the algebraic expression. So we have a 8, a to the power of 8, b to the power of 6 over 4a to the power of 4 and b to the power of 2. So now we know that when we're dividing two terms with the exponent, where the base are the same, the exponents we'll subtract, okay? Remember, top exponent gets minus, okay? By the bottom exponent. 
So if we look at it, we look at the numbers first. So we see that there's 8 divided by 4. So we know 8 divided by 4 is going to give us 2. Now we can look at A. The base is the same, so we bring the base down. We're going to minus now 8 minus 4. So 8 minus 4 is 4. And we get B. 6 minus 2, which is also 4. So that's going to be our final answer over there. So this is an example of division of algebraic expressions where there's just one term on the top. You get more complicated examples like the one I'm about to do now, where they give us 12x squared y plus 4x y squared minus 8xy. And all of this is going to be the numerator of this fraction. And it's all going to be over 4xy. Cool. So if you can look at that, what's going to happen is now we're going to divide each term on the top by this term here at the bottom. So we're going to do first 12x squared y divided by 4xy. And then we're doing 4xy squared divided by 4xy and then negative 8xy divided by 4xy. So if you can look at this now, we're going to do the numbers first, okay? So first we do 12 divided by 4. We know that's 3. Then we're going to look at the variable now, x squared. And that's x. Remember the invisible 1 above there. So it's going to be 2 minus 1. So it's just going to be left as x. And then we have y divided by y. So then remember invisible 1, invisible 1. So it's 1 minus 1, which makes it 0. Anything to the power of 0. So this will basically be y to the power of 0. Anything to the power of 0 is equal to 1. So we don't have to write that in over here because if we do write in the 1, it's just going to leave this expression exactly the same as these over there. And now we're going to look at 4xy squared divided by 4xy. So you can see that the numbers over here, it's 4 divided by 4. So it's just going to be 1. We're going to keep this a positive now. We don't have to necessarily write in the 1. So we're going to move on to x. Here we have x1, and that's also x1 over here. Again, it's going to be 1 minus 1 gives us 0, so it'll be 1, so we don't necessarily have to write that in. And then we have y squared over just y. So it's going to be y2 minus 1, so it's just y to the power of 1, so we can just leave that as is. Now we look at the next thing. We have negative 8xy over 4xy. So, what's going to happen is we get negative 8 divided by 4. We get negative 2. Now we have x1, y1 over x1, y1. Remember, it's going to be 1 minus 1 in each of them. It's going to be 0. So then we just leave it as 1. So we can just leave the negative 2 as is over there. And that is our final answer over there. Cool. Moving on to another example with division again, we have 8x cubed plus 2x squared plus 4 over 2x squared. So, let's look at this now. To make this a bit easier, let's try doing this a different way. So, if we're going to break it up into separate fractions. So, let's say we do 8x cubed over 2x squared plus 2x squared over 2x squared plus 4 over 2x squared. So you can see all I've done now is I've separated the fraction into three different fractions just by the signs, okay? So the signs come here to, in between the two the terms, and then we put the top term over the 2x squared, cool? So looking at it now, it's 8 divided by 2, get 4, x3 minus 2 is 1, so it will stay as is. Now we get 
2x squared over 2x squared. We know that anything divided by itself is going to be equal to 1. And now if we look at this over here, we know it's going to stay a positive because both these numbers are positive. So we can see here that we have a number on top. We have a number at the bottom. We do not have x on top but we do have x at the bottom. So what's going to happen in this case is we're just going to be dividing the numbers, okay? And the letter will remain at the bottom. In this case, x squared will remain at the bottom. So 4 divided by 2, that will stay as the numerator because it hasn't been completely cancelled out. And x squared will stay as is at the bottom because it can't divide anything on top. And that will be the final answer in this case. Okay, another example, we're going to move back to some multiplication. So we give it negative 4m, sorry, 2m squared minus 3m. So this is another easy one. Outside term is going to times into the first term, then it's going to times into the second term. So looking at the numbers first, we get negative 4 times positive 2. Negative times positive is negative, so we get negative 8m. Remember now we're adding exponents, so it's 2 plus 1, we get 3. And then looking here, negative 4 times negative 3, we know it's going to equal 12. Remember negative times negative is a positive, so of positive 12 m 1 plus 1 on the exponents so we get 2 so our answer is negative 8 m cubed plus 12 m squared and now to look at the last example that we got here it's going to be let's get a new file open so we given negative 3 a to the power of 6, b to the power of 5, times 2a squared, b to the power of 3. Now this is all over fractions. So as you can see in this example, we'll be combining multiplication and division. Okay, so it's over negative 12a, 7, b to the power of 6. So what happens when we, com when we have a combined example like this? We have the multiplication on the top and division at the bottom. So key thing to note, when we add addition and subtraction on top, we could not add the, the terms or subtract them because they weren't like terms. So we couldn't do anything with the top. So we move straight to division. But in this case... Because it's multiplication, we know we can times these two terms together. So ultimately, we'll end up doing that step first. Okay? So we can do the multiplication first. We have negative 3 times positive 2. So we get negative 6. And we have 8 to the power of 6 times 8 to the power of 2. So we have a 6 plus 2. So 6 plus 2 is going to give us 8. And then b. 5 plus 3, it's going to give us 8 again. Cool. And that is all going to be over. Negative 12a, 7b, 6. Looking at this now, so we can see that our numerator is now smaller than our denominator, which we haven't had in past examples. So what is going to change in this example is all that's going to happen is we're going to look at it like this. So negative 6 divided by negative 12. In this case, we'll have to try and simplify the fraction. The fraction we're looking at is negative 6 and negative 12. If we're dividing it, remember, the sign is going to change to a positive, so we already know it's going to be a positive. And if we're simplifying this fraction, it's going to be a half. Okay. So we're going to bring that down as a half. 
and from there we just carry on with division as normal except we write the variables either on top of the fraction or next to the fraction I prefer to do it next to so it will be half a so this is 8 minus 7 so it will just stay as is with the one on top if you prefer and then it will be p 8 minus 6 which is 2 that will conclude the video lesson for today